It is a crime that just is not going away. Catalytic converter thefts. Arkansas already has a law on the books to make selling the stolen parts more difficult. Oklahoma lawmakers are now proposing a law to make the crime a felony. 5 News reporter Katherine Gilker tells us how to protect your car's catalytic converter from thieves. Last summer we had people probably five times a day would call and say that their cat was stolen or their car was extremely loud when they started it and didn't know why. It has died down. We're probably maybe a couple times a week now, but it's still too high. Owner of Razorback Muffler Chris Eiler says vehicles that sit up higher make the converters easier to get to and certain makes and models of vehicles make them higher targets. He says thieves can hack off the converters in less than a minute. The reason these are so valuable is they contain precious metals like rhodium, platinum, and palladium, which can be worth a lot. He says they do offer a way to try and protect your car. We'll uh, actually etch the VIN onto the converter, um, and then we've been implementing some cable systems. Not going to stop them completely, but it's something that will deter them and hopefully um, make them move on to a different vehicle or just leave it alone altogether. If you're wondering what the catalytic converter does, it cleans the exhaust gas that comes out of the engine. They are an EPA requirement. Some cars have up to four and it can cost between $600 and $800 to replace them, depending on the vehicle and the damage the thieves caused. Here on the University of Arkansas campus, UAPD says two catalytic converters have been stolen from cars so far this year and there have been two other attempts. Captain Gary Crane says even if you don't drive your car every day, you do need to check it. Student may not go out to their car very often, but they should keep an eye on it when they start it up. If it's making any kind of sound that's not the normal sound of the engine, then they should get uh, someone to look at it, call the police department. Covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. Meanwhile, the Fort's